Now that you're comfortable with the Align tool, let's take a look at the Ruler tool, which is located in the top right corner above Tinkercad Basic Shapes. Go ahead and click and drag out the Ruler tool and just drop it anywhere on the work plane. With the Ruler tool, if we select an object, we can now see the exact measurements of each dimension. The default unit for these measurements are millimeters. However, you can change this to inches, which I will go over in another video. So using the ruler tool, I can see that the width of this object is 55 millimeters, the length is 55 millimeters, the height is 20. The number that's next to the height is the distance the object is from the work plane. Because this object is flat against the work plane, this is at zero. However, if I were to use the black cone here, and I dragged this object up, you can see how high above the work plane this object is. It works the same way if I put it below the work plane. Again, if you ever need to make your object flat against the work plane, you only need to select the D key. All of these dimensions can also be edited. To edit any of these measurements, click on the number and type in what you would like it to be. This allows you to take your designs and create them to your exact specifications. The bottom two numbers, the 15 and the 15 here, are the distance the object is from the corner of the ruler. You can change whether this distance is measured by the end point, so the end of the object, or the midpoint, the middle of the object. When you're done using the ruler tool, you can click on the X button to dismiss ruler.